Hello and welcome back to Adam. So we continue to explore this small little town after... Well, we were robbed, basically, but we now have some logs and a brick and... Well, not a lot. We have a shovel and a shotgun that doesn't have bullets, but it's still progress. Uh, and we need to talk to this guy. He has a machine gun of sorts. <clears throat> Before you stands a young man in a pre-war soldier shirt. In his hands he's holding an assault rifle. From his shoulder hangs an old army P-147 radio. Upon noticing you, he smiles widely and starts talking. <clears throat> well, 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 we don't usually get such quests. Uh, may I help you? Uh, what can I do for you? The young man looks around. You're alone, huh? Well, are you lost? How can I help? <clears throat> the young man looks at you with longing in his eyes. A silly smile does not leave his face for a moment. <clears throat> I'm not lost, I'm traveling, chatting with the populace. Do we have a free minute? Everything's alright, but why are you looking at me like that? I'm a grown woman, I go where I want. Have <laughs> a great day. Ah, oh, that's so rude. <clears throat> Why are you looking at me like that, boy? The young man smirks and his cheeks uh, get a rosy tint. How else should I look? I've been standing here for all my conscious life, like a dog on a chain. And then a beautiful girl like you comes over. So just... <clears throat> so just so fresh and new, my eyes rest when I look upon you. And I feel like courting, you know? I feel like marking, making your day, making you happy, making you laugh, like, well... <clears throat> the young man turns towards a small bush of morning glory and plucks one <laughs> tiny blue flower. Ta-da! A present for my lady. I'm sorry, but I'm not looking for a boyfriend. I just want to talk. Cut the romance a bit, okay? Um... Uh, thank you. That's really sweet. <clears throat> let's just let's just take it. The guy smiles at you. His face growing more and more flushed. I actually have some questions. Sure. I like to more know <laughs> more about you. Do I really want to know more about him? I don't know. Let's do it. The young man takes his army hat and gives you a smile. Takes off his army hat. Uh, Peter is my name. <clears throat> What's yours? My name is a secret. My name is... Babe. Agnes Pagoda. Julia the Antiproletarian. Boris Lava Bokshin Borisova. Karina Karate. Well, I'm just gonna go with Babe. The, but he might react to the other ones. Let's just go with Babe. Peter smiles with satisfaction. Well, I I'm glad we met. Well, well, glad indeed, Babe, right? This name suits you so well. <laughs> Fucking god. Oh, if only I picked some dumb name. Or dumber name. <laughs> nice to meet you. <clears throat> now, a few nagging questions I had. Ask away. What are you doing here? Huh. I'm the guard of this gate. I'll, I'll help protecting Ortadnoia from <clears throat> hordes of raiders and the like. One could even say that I'm protecting the motherland. Well, because part of this village literally used to be my mother's land. That's how it goes. I see. Um, what you, well, no, 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 no. What's this place? Any good rumors lately? Like, I'm curious about that. The man scratches the back of his head. Rumors, rumors, rumors. I'm mm, damn. <clears throat> I think I just forgot all the best ones. Well, okay, I remember the story some passing merchants told me. There was an old woman who lived on the abandoned gas station. She was known for keeping a mutated ant as a pet. As for having a clean room for rent, if you can believe it. Many merchants stayed at her place, but recently she was found dead. She died from hunger. All skin and bones, even though there was a huge food supply in the room with her. 
people also say that her body looked like it was warm before worn by someone after her death like a damn sock puppet hell that chills me to the bone <clears throat> that's pretty spooky let's go another question now that's good thanks for your time we changed this we can change the subject Nah, i better leave <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, let's see what's over here. We can't even go... Oh, can we go inside here? Oh, we can, and we can loot stuff. Herbal mix. Salt. Two spoons. And a fork. Nah, just the salt. Uh, waste paper. I don't know if I should take this, because ultimately, I think this could gonna be just garbage. And we don't want it. I don't know. What is this? Take toilet paper? Wow. I'm actually quite surprised that I managed to find toilet paper. Oh, some rope? Wires. <clears throat> is this the generator? I can't fix it. As far as I know, there's no way to <clears throat> to open the skill panel. I need to fix the pump first. How do you fix it, though? Oh. <clears throat> there's no way to open the skill panel, uh, like in Fallout. So, I'm not sure. But we have hunger. Um, some guy pick his salt yeah that was salt spoon and what is that <clears throat> meh I don't know let's take it all why not we have the space <clears throat> now what is this um, that's the medic Hey mister, I'm just checking out this cupboard. Nothing in here. You see a slightly bent tin, but otherwise well-built middle-aged man. He's dressed in a dusty lab coat with the sleeves rolled up and a clothed hat of a peculiar shade of grey. <clears throat> yes? You must be the local doctor. You're right, young lady. Dr. Mikoyan, but you can call me Constantine. Doc, I need your help. Dr. Mikoyan checks your pulse, your blood pressure, even your irises, and he finally steps away, looking disappointed. You're healthy. Come back if you have any problems. You sham. And we have a free checkup these days. Um, I want to buy some medicine. Okay. I kind of want to buy that, but there's no way. There's no way we can afford it. <clears throat> Wait, so how about some... A small discount on all the drugs I'm buying. Absolutely not. I'm a doctor, not a haggler. If you want to get a discount, go bargain with the, the local merchant. Well, that's too bad. Some questions? Are you in for that? You know what, young lady? I'm a doctor. I'm not on trial here. But it's really necessary you can... But if it's really necessary, you can ask me some questions. How's the job? Intense. How do you you like this word? Um, that's that's an odd sentence. <clears throat> it's unclear what to expect the morning after. You either give up or start adapting. That's how it works, young lady. Even every day, this world finds new ways to surprise us. Sometimes it's radiation sickness, sometimes spontaneous mutation, sometimes it's stitching up bite marks from animals that weren't listed in any books before the war. It's a bit annoying that the text is kind of smallish. Like on a big screen, it's kind of smallish. I don't... I have to look into making it bigger. Like, I can read it, but it's, uh... <clears throat> it would be more comfortable if it was a little bit bigger. 
Sometimes I get a patient that puts all my years of medical experience under question just by the way he looks, or rather by the way the mushrooms growing out of his back look. Wow, the life of, of communist doctors sounds pretty harsh, doc. You know what, young lady? I'm a doctor. Not on try. That's the same thing. <clears throat> Tell me about yourself. It's nice to listen to a smart person from time to time. We're not gonna suck up to the doc. Heard the rumors? Oh, you women. How you... Oh, how you love all sorts of rumors. You know what? I'm a doctor. I'm not a babbling brook. But you are right. Sometimes I, I really do get to hear an interesting piece of gossip. For example... <clears throat> I've heard that in our tavern, the proprietor adds toast stew to some of the spirits. Never touched the stuff myself, and I highly recommend you do likewise, young lady. The effects of this witch's brew might be unpredictable. Thanks. I remember that. Gotta go! See you soon, Dr. Constantine! <clears throat> wow. Wow, this, this place has everything. Has his bed, has his toilets, has a table-ish. Okay, what we have here? Some cows. Two pigs, one sheep, and a cow? I'm actually quite surprised by the selection of animals here. Hmm. Someone's drying their clothes. So, is this the general store? It must be, because we did check out everything. Wait. Is there a... No, no, that's just a guard post. I'm actually quite surprised that this place is like... The kind of walls this place has. I'm very surprised. This was probably some kind of military base. And they took it over. <clears throat> general store! I just made it up. But it's probably the place. Whoa, he's selling in the middle of the night. Before you stands a thin middle-aged man. His bony face blooms with a slightly forced smile when he notices you. <clears throat> good day, good day. For your perusal, guns of all kinds, pre-war, hot off the workbench, rifles, shotguns, and pistols from the best gunsmith of the waste. All my weapons are of the highest quality. If it explodes in your hands, your money back. Guaranteed. Porter. How about a discount since I'm you in town? <laughs> yeah, that's a good enough reason. Well, alright. Out of the kindness of my heart, I'm offering you a 5% discount. That's a lot. Sounds good, doesn't it? I know that's an interesting proposal. Maybe you like to make a purchase now? Stock is good, and so are the prices. Uh, just show me. Wait. Yeah, that's the one I have. No. I couldn't tell. Okay, that's the one he has. Robos. Um, so that's the guns, that's the ammo. It doesn't... That's the trash. It doesn't have any tag that... What is that? Oh, I can use the brick as a weapon. It's not really a weapon, but it, it's a weapon, right? We don't have any ru rubles. Log. Gunpowder. Tee-hee. <laughs> Yeah, we can buy that round, but that wouldn't help us. Rubles. I don't know. I think we might just close this for now. <clears throat> Thanks for your time, uh, guy. So, we haven't done a lot in this town. I don't think I get a shotgun. Uh, that was nice, I suppose. Location, Otradnoye. I can zoom in on everything. Check the status. Ooh, this is like the quest log. Find the bunker 317. 
Find the whereabouts of General Morozov expedition in Krasnomeny, a big city. There's an atom agent called Fidel. So that's the guy we want. This is our small town. And we are going to Krasnomeny. Krasnomeny. Village barman Otronoy asked me to bring him a copy of the Lord of the Rings that he ordered in the Krasnomeny bookstore. <clears throat> Okay, so seems like the next uh, stop is definitely Krasnos the Menu. Wait, did I check this place out already? I don't believe so. Yeah, this is like a shared bunky place. I'm sorry, I was just uh, I was just checking if it that if that was the book that whatever. I'm, I'm going. Damn, at least they bored me. Well, I guess we gotta head out. I have no food. Actually, that could be a big deal. Because we have to care about survival here. Uh, not sure how I feel about that, but I guess uh, if it's not a massive hassle to deal with it, I don't mind that. So, can you give me some food? Giving me, yeah, speechcraft free. Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, what? That's really good. How expensive is that? Ninety-eight rubles. So if I wear this, actually, I max my speechcraft, which is kind of cool. Six hundred hunger. So buying one is 20 rubles. I can sell some log. I can sell some salt. I'm not sure if I should soap. These things actually worth something. I'm, I'm fairly surprised. I don't think there's a way to list them. Fork. Empty tin, toilet paper, herbal mix, maybe that has more value. Oh, vase paper, let's do that. <clears throat> Babushka scarf, scrap metal. Okay, with this we have something. I don't know if I want the flat cap. I think we should buy... At least... Wait. He doesn't have a lot of rubles. Should I use the flat cap? Lowers the... Yeah, he needs to put that on. And maybe we're gonna not... We're gonna put in the scarf. He's gonna... Put back one ruble. Trade? Good trade, right? Sure, we got some food. <clears throat> uh, thanks for your time, mister. I'm going away. So it's time to head toward Krasnomeny. I don't know if I needed to do that, but might as well do it. I don't think it's gonna be a, a waste. Someone had a lot of time. Status healthy? Do I want to punch spiders? Oh crap. I got into a fight. Okay. We got a plan. Oh, it's gonna attack me? No, it's not attacking me. <clears throat> Can I punch him in the torso? Seems like it has very low action points. So if I keep running away, I should be good. I'm not the best fighter. Oh 
Wow, what? Almost dead. That's good. We got it. Nothing. We got some XP. That's that's least a plus. Let's see the map. I don't think we're gonna find anything here. Maybe some something hidden. Oh crap. That's uh <clears throat> some kind of fly. It's not significantly faster than the other one. Maybe that's fine. Punch it and go away. I believe there's a way to <clears throat> speed up the fights. Maybe you want to do that. This is actually not a bad way to do turn based combat. That looks pretty smooth. It's only injured. Oh, he's, he's cornering me. But we good. It's an old way to fight. Punch and run away, but it works. Oh, the mushroom. Oh yeah, this is what I need to do. The toadstool. How many I need to pick up? Didn't she say like five? I think we need to get five. Oh yeah, I definitely should do that before we go. <clears throat> Come spider. Good thing that I can actually somewhat punch. Hmm. Do I have a better melee weapon? Than my fist? It takes one HP damage, which is not great. You can't do any less than one. I need to look into it. It's gotta be something. Okay, let's check our inventory. I do have a shovel. Um, no. The only problem with the shovel. Wait, what? I don't. I don't want to aim it now. Just ready it. <clears throat> that should be good enough. But it costs more AP to attack, but the damage should be... Yeah, it's definitely higher. Significantly higher. So I need to get four more mushrooms? Damn it. Oh, I have a shovel! Uh, yeah. I'll take it. Will this affect my reputation? That's something that the games like to do, that they give you a, an opportunity to gr uh, dig graves, but then punish you for it. 1 to 5, so <clears throat> not so great on average. Like, you wanna dig graves? You can do it, right? But then, like, everybody hates you. What the hell? Digging graves? Not cool. No one seems to mind. If no one knows, like, how can I have bad reputation for it? Empty bottle? What the hell? Today we put him to the rest, and to respect him, we gotta... Work and nails. We gotta bury him with his last beer. That actually doesn't sound that bad. Oh, 10 rubles. Well, considering this is the apocalypse. I wouldn't be surprised if someone wanted that. Oh, look at that. Spidey. Oh no, two at the same time. Oh, the chance to hit is low. That's not good. Okay, I, I wasted action points by putting it out. Oh, I think we need some uh, minimum to use it properly. This needs minimum of 45. And this needs minimum of 45 as well. And we 
only have actually we have 45 do I want to stab it wait what why only have four action points okay AP can I go for an aim stab okay yeah that increases the chance to hit that's that's pretty good that's just injured. Took free damage. But it should kill it, right? One damage. We're running away because we don't wanna take damage. This is the the cheesy tactic of turn-based combat. Free damage. There's a way to speed it up. I think we're gonna speed it up. Oh, killed. That's good. So melee weapons are definitely not useless. If if I went for some traits to completely dump my melee, uh, I would ha be having a pretty bad time right now. I wanna like it have have it pretty. Op I wanna have a character that can be basically anything. Uh, as far as uh, I can actually just have access to a lot of conversation options. Because that's one thing that I actually want from uh, my character. Come, spider. Oh, come on. And one more stab should do it. Looks like it might be able to move five. Yeah, it has nothing. Give me the mushroom! That's a big mushroom. Holy crap. So I need to just look around the entire place. It would have been pretty handy if we didn't fail the conversation check. I'm not even sure if it was a check. Um, come. Did it die? Oh, nice. Did we get lucky? We did 10 damage. We can't... The damage... <clears throat> uh, this weapon does uh, 1 to 6, so... Must be a crit. Oh, what the hell is that? I don't think we should go for that. I would take radiation damage. I'm actually curious to try. Yeah, you got poison. Then you need to use the antidote. Like right now. That was a bit weird. <laughs> okay, I guess that, that was just fine. Yeah, just open the stash. Whoa! Kasparamid. Some bullets. Sure. We're still on the lookout for more mushrooms. But I have to get five? I'm pretty sure that we need to get five. And I only managed to find two so far. Hmm. I really hope I'm not gonna miss any, and we have to uh, go for another round. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's more space on the on the right, so there's a good chance we're gonna find five overall. You see, a, <clears throat> you see light under the bed? Maybe a hidden passage is behind it? Really? Damn. How do I... How do I interact with these? I don't think there's a way to open the skill menu. Uh, 
ability tree and hex the mate. I don't know that what that is. I don't think we can do it. So we should be able to move the bed. Yeah, we did move the bed. And there's light downstairs. Apparently we need to load to a new area. Well, this looks promising. What the hell is that? Some toy? <clears throat> Quite the toy. You must be a nutcracker, right? But where is your sword? Oh my god, he should have said, where is your nut? Where's my sword? I don't get it. Rope. Uh, that could be useful. Oh, crap! What a bait. Wooden assault rifle. <laughs> Damage 100 to 1000. Only for imaginary targets. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Just a bunch of nothing. Safe? Yeah. Uh, we don't have the combination. But, we do know of a safe now. <clears throat> Chancing the combination is not gonna work. Well, it could work, but it's not gonna work. <clears throat> Actually, I think the sun is rising now. What's on the field? This field looks acceptable, but first you need to plant the crops. Uh, really? I can't plant crops? Or, I don't think I can. Pretty sure that I can't. That would be weird. Farmer Simulator! Hmm. What the hell is that? <clears throat> a rat. I guess. Yeah, let's just try to run away. I don't want to get hit. Two rats. Same strats as before. It would be even e easier if I had more action points. I only have uh, 6 agility, I believe. Wow. They're hard to kill. Okay. Come over here. Maybe go this way. <clears throat> I don't have a lot of movement. I don't wanna go that direction. We might run into some other enemies that we are yet to see. Oh, meat! Wow, really? I mean, yes, but I'm kind of surprised that the rats have so much meat on them that it's just good for one one proper meal. Or at least, at least I believe. Oh, that's, that's one mushroom. Oh, man. Come over here. I think this should be okay. Yeah, it's fast enough. If I was a better melee character, uh, this would be definitely easier. But maybe. Well, it, this just really goes to show that we probably want to pick up some uh, combat skills pretty damn soon. Maybe melee. I don't know if that would be wise. 
I'm not really a great fighter, but we, we gotta pick up something. I'm not, not sure if Meeb is gonna be good. At least for this character, because uh, her combat stats are uh, nothing spectacular. By any means. Okay, how many mushrooms I need again? Five, right? So I'm expected to find two more. And those are like the not correct type of mushrooms. Fine, I suppose. Whoa, there's a guy here? Do you have some mushrooms? Hmm. I don't think he does. I can take his log. What's up, man? <clears throat> Before you stands an old man sporting a mustache. He's wearing a foreign tracksuit. There's a flap cap over his uh, graying hair and uh, hanging around his neck are some old spectacles. Uh, he welcomes you with a firm handshake. Hey there. Hope the monsters didn't bite you on the way here. Thanks. I had uh, to fight a few, though. It's, it's nothing I haven't done before. See, it's dangerous to walk around here alone. The monsters are all around the village. This place is practically under siege. One thing is nice, they don't attack on their own. Usually. Or I have hell of a time cooped up in here. All those spider ants, rats, uh, it's like they are symbiotic. A few more years and they'll form a political party. Well, you're definitely... Well, I hope not. And you're definitely wrong about not attacking on their own. So far, everything attacked me. The man lets out a mirthless laugh and eyes uh, his surroundings, as if looking for something. He then exhales and uh, turns his head back to you. But anyway, see? Have this fire going. If you have any canned food or tea, you're graciously invited to cook it here. Use my pot, if you will, or just sit down and get yourself warm. Um, and speaking of your relaxation, if you by any chance have a pair of dice, you might sit down and play for a while. I seem to have lost my own pair some time ago. I'm not much of a gambling man, but I think it's a fun way to spend time. I want to ask one some questions. He nods and crosses his arms on his chest, waiting for your question. Heard any rumors? I heard some adventuring type that buried a stash around a somewhere around the area. After that, I think he got shot or mauled by wolves and the stash is still here. I go and look for it, but I'm too lazy. So if uh, you have a good shovel, you are welcome to try your luck searching, I won't mind. Okay, thanks for the advice, I better go. Actually, I already did that. We found that. Oh, can we loot his... Uh, little cabin, take his toilet paper, hopefully not used. What would you keep? Use toilet paper? That's just, that just crazy. Hmm. What else we have here? I'm kind of struggling with the mushrooms. Can we just... Oh. I did run into a fight, right? Yeah, I did. Come over here. Oh man, these are so slow. What? It's broken? Why do I... I use my shoe now? How much damage does this do? I can do a kick. Let's do it. It did free damage. Not bad. I guess that's the next plan. Actually, yeah, that's okay. That seems even better than the rusty knife. Just stomp the rats. Yep, rest in peace, rat. My karate. Uh, oh, this rat doesn't have meat. Uh, OK. 
Okay. That's a bit surprising. I prefer if the game is consistent about these things. How could one rat has meat, have meat, and the other one too, but the, but two other ones not? Come on. Oh no. Some flies. A lot of enemies in this area. Yeah, just punch it. Or kick it. Whatever works. It works! New level? Wow! Now, do I want to be Karate Kid? I don't know what to do here. Next teammate. Ability tree. So I have 25 points to spend. And I, I'm pretty good with uh, martial arts and melee weapons. Don't know. Don't know what to spend on. I usually like to uh, hold on to it just in case. Do I have two points? Cost of skill. Each new skill makes the next one cost one more point. So we have this skill tree. I really should look into it. But for now, I don't think we need to spend points. We are doing just fine. But I need to find one more mushroom. I'm not sure where it can it be. Uh, journal. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that... I was tasked to find five mushrooms, right? And I don't see uh, the fifth one. It could be here. Before you lies on makeshift fishing pole, it's a uh, float. What? It's float slowly bobs on the surface of the small pond. If you only knew what types of bait the local fish like, this would be a great fishing spot. Can I fish in this game? Wait, whoa! Another secret treasure place? Canned meat, tea, an empty bottle? Why not? Okay, where am I? Yeah, th this is what I expected. Where's the last mushroom? I don't like this quest that much, game. Seriously? You go with the find five mushrooms quest? As one of the first ones. Hmm. Or they dug the graves. I think I was fairly thorough. I believe. I just need to find one dumb mushroom. But uh, we're gonna return to the woman and. Uh, I heard that we found four mushrooms, and that's all. Hopefully that's gonna be just fine. Or do I need to find only one? I'm not sure. Let's go back. I don't see any. Maybe there's some at the start. Maybe they don't show up unless I'm nearby. Oh, that would be annoying. I think that's the case. Mushrooms, where are you? God damn it. Alright, let's go back. Hey, you got a dog? Ah. Oh, he doesn't like me. Okay. Uh, pff, uh, back to the bar that I don't know the name of. Yeah. How's the gathering going? Got some for me? Yes! I have all! Like, there's literally no more left. I picked up all the mushrooms. I have them all. There you go. Wow, thanks a lot for your help. Maybe I picked up five and I just missed it. You give the mushrooms to the girl. She inspects all mushrooms to see if there are any worms in them. She's quite happy with the results and smiles at you. These are some top-notch mushrooms I found. I strove to get only the best ones for you. Since you look like uh, someone who knows what quality is worth, I think these might 
even be worth twice what you're offering? What do you think? Uh, let's do speech grab because my yeah my speech grab is higher. Well, all of this is fine and dandy, but I am so so tired. This wasn't easy. I almost lost my life. I went to hell and back for this fungi. Oh, it's actually quite dangerous out there. Here, twenty rubles for you. Spend them to recover, both morally and physically. Ah, uh, thanks for that. Thanks a lot. Now, how about speaking to the village head? Sure thing, I'll write a note to Comrade Kovalev right now, saying that I recommend you for hire. Go give it to him, personally, since I'm sure he'll want to talk to you. He lives to the left of the bar entrance, good luck. Small town, eh? <laughs> Why not just say he lives in the bar? Is that is that the guy? I think that might be the guy. Who knows, I think that's the guy. We might need to get more appropriate clothing. Still thinking about it. But hey, I think I can just fit in just fine. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.